What do you actually run as your Linux desktop? What desktop do you run? Uh, currently, I use uh, simply simply Sway. Okay. Um, with Alacrity. I mean, most people see me. I mean, <laughs> this is so funny. The, the YouTube comments, like now that I have a growing YouTube channel, like the comments are gold, right? Also, people like, like, do this dude is not using syntax? How can you program without syntax highlighting? It's like, it's wait, do you not use syntax highlighting? Hmm? You don't use syntax highlighting. Uh, sometimes not. I mean, I don't. Okay. Play, I mean, sometimes I have it on, sometimes not. But I, I don't need it, right? And like, for example, I, I don't even realize when it's off. Like, I, I disabled it recently because, like, the latest Vim version color diffs so strange, like patch files, right? Like, it's like pure color <clears throat> cancer right. and so strange low contrast, like, like light blue on pink or whatnot it's like it's like it's barely readable right that's like i just disabled it because like this patch was so full of color it's like like do you wish it reads this and i didn't even notice that i turned it off because of this patch thing and then people mind like i can just code and people are like Jared, how can he code without syntax like like who cares but yeah the, the comments are really fun but and then also like all the people like which which desktop which editor which Oh, I'm sure people like, are like, hey, why don't you try out Hyperland? Why don't you try out this one? It's like... Yeah. I mean, basically, so that's also how I work on all the vintage systems, right? Like it, some of the vintage systems don't even have either no graphic or non-working graphic or not, not supported graphic. And it's like, yeah, serial console and just give me a, give me a terminal and <laughs> I can even work on a unestimated frame buffer in, in Vim, right? It's fine, but... So for a decade, I actually, like since KD and GNOME became too resource hungry for me, I just give me X, um, X, X server and I've, for a decade I run Blackbox. Mm -hmm. Now I run Sway. I tried Hyperland. Um, it's fine. I mean, I tested KD and GNOME. Um, our default ISO ships with XFCE for um, end user uh, feeling at home and, and pixel art. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Firefox, yeah. That's the thing, right? Then people desperately want Chrome. Um, we have a Chrome package, but it's too often broken. <laughs> um, most core developers don't love Chrome the most at us. It's funny that so many users love Chrome so much um, when, when developers don't. Um, some areas still need some. Yeah, the next 10 hours live stream making Chrome fully, fully work. Um, yeah, I, I need surprisingly little, but I'm aware that most people need all of KDE and GNOME. Mm -hmm. But then even in KDE, even the PF uh, viewer was broken, right? Like even that I had to debug, like why does uh, Ocular not load its rendering plugins and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And where you have to wonder like, why does this stuff not just work? But sure, I mean, people in Debian and SUSE fixed that too, but like, why does it not work out of the box? Mm -hmm. so. Actually, one thing I want to ask, because you are using Sway, why didn't you just, um go and use some X11 window manager. Why did you bother using Sway? I mean, I did until recently. I mean, only because like I was using Blackbox, like even on my early YouTube videos, I was like doing all in Blackbox, I believe, because that's all I need, right? Just, I need to move some windows. That's right, fine. Right. Um, I only started because people, like all the people were bugging me, like, can you support Wayland better in T2? Like we want okay, Wayland support, right. Wayland, Wayland, Wayland. Like, okay, okay, fine, I do, I do Wayland. So I only did it because like everyone was whining to me, they want the latest and greatest. And then I always need to test it. And then I switched to it and it was eventually working. And then it, it's, I mean, I got used to it. It's mostly fine. And uh, yeah, I need, need to test the latest and greatest, right? Fair enough, fair enough. And then I have used, I, I basically I've, the, the first most stable compositor there, Wayland compositor, Sway worked for me uh, with OBS and uh, yeah, Hyperlin too. I mean, it's, I need surprisingly little, but we have just recently, I cleaned up some vintage window managers. So like we have dozens of all the vintage stuff, right? From i3 to awesome and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and Red Poison <laughs> and, and, and IceVM. So if you, if, if if someone wants to use T2 as a desktop, you will f feel at home no matter what. And patches welcome, right? Like if we have fi over five thousand packages, so if something, I mean, surely there. I mean, we have FPGA tool tool gene, Yosis, and KiCad and OBS, and but certainly I'm aware that other distributions have more than five thousand packages. Although the numbers are skewed, right? Mm -hmm. People always like only five thousand packages. Yeah, but Debian also splits them, right? Like we don't split them, so. Debian has Devil and 
doc and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So like 5,000 true packages without artificial death doc splitting. One thing I really do appreciate with uh, your package listing is you don't have some annoying search to find packages. It's just a giant list of packages on the website. <laughs> yeah, it's old school. Um, I mean, once upon a time, this Google custom search was working, but Google stopped the service somehow. I need to still delete this custom search. Oh, search oh yeah, I mean, right. yeah, we... still have the bar there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we, we, have, <laughs> we have Itanium to support. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, the website will significantly increase in the next month, um, mm -hmm. is my promise. And... Yeah, um, 